Let's solve number 17 on the AMC8. A chess, a chess king attacks all squares that are one step away from it, horizontally, vertically, and diagonally. And we're asked to find how many ways can you place two kings on the board such that they don't attack each other. So let's just draw a 3x3 three three grid here. So the idea in this problem is we have a white king and we have a black king. So let's just do casework on where the white king is. So the key thing to notice in this problem is there's a lot of symmetry, right? You can do doing casework on, okay, the white king can be here, the white king can be here, and for all nine places. But that's tedious. We don't need to do that because a lot of these squares have exactly the number of same number of ways. For example, and I don't want to use white because that's not a very visible color. So instead, I'll use this like light grayish white kind of color. So let's say we put a king here, right? How many ways are there to put the black king? Where can we put the black king? Well, this white king, it attacks here, here, and here. So we have five choices for the black king. It can go here, 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 or here. So five choices. Now the question is, what happens when now, instead of being in that corner, it's in, let's say, another corner. Let's say it's in the top right corner instead. The key thing to realize here is it's the exact same scenario. It's symmetric. It's just a different corner. So again, we can just see that, okay, it attacks three of the squares, so there's five left. And the same is true for the other corners. They're all symmetric. So we have that there's five different choices for the black king when the white king is in a corner. And there's four ways we can place the white king in a corner. And this gives a total of 20 ways to, to place 20 ways in this case, right? Four choices for where the white king can go because there's four corners. And then five choices for the black king as a result. Now, that's only one case, though, because the white king does not necessarily have to be in a corner. What if it's on an edge here? And again, we notice the symmetry, right? We'll solve the case for this one, for this edge here, and then we'll see that this edge, this edge, and this edge, they're all symmetric. So if the white king is here, it attacks all of these squares. And as a result, we see there's three left. So we have three choices for the black king. Okay, and then we multiply by 4 because there's 4 different edges that we can place the white king in. And this gives us 12. Cool. Now, what about if the white king is in the center? So, you can probably already guess by this point, but if the white king is in the center, there's no place for the black king to go. Because this white king will now attack every square. So for this case, we have zero choices for the black king. So in total, our answer is just 20 plus 12, 32. So to summarize, we take advantage of symmetry here. The white king cannot go, and we do casework where the white king goes. It can't go in the center, and then, but it can go in any of these edges or vertices. So we do two cases. Is it in an edge, or is it in a vertice? So then we have these two cases. We find that there's five ways to place the black king if the white king is in a corner, and three ways to place the black king if the white king is in an edge. So then we realize, okay, it's symmetric, right? If, if there's five ways for the black king if the white king is here, then there's also going to be five choices for the black king if the white king is here. And then we take advantage of symmetry, and we multiply it by four for both of our cases, because there's four corners and four edges. And we get an answer of 32. Hope you enjoyed this video.